Hello everyone, Thanos here. Back for another Transformers review with the War for Cybertron Soundwave. Now this is one of the main characters that I've really been looking forward to for a very long time. Um, he's a nice representat representation of his revealed commode in the game as well. And it rolls quite nicely. And one unique thing about this is um, I usually have like up like this. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, you can take, you can open up his chest, this little area here, and just kind of reach in. If I can get it. I know some other people have been, who done reviews of Soundwave has this problem also, but um, if I can get it, there we go. There's one, and there's the other one. Go and fold that back in. You can place these little pieces here on the side. Well, actually, fit that one out first. You can place them on the side here. You can give Soundwave armored. You can arm Soundwave in vehicle mode, which is cool. So, to begin the transformation with this one, with him, I'm just going to take these off, to these to the side, and just pop these sides up, these top pieces, up right like here, and just go ahead and bring these on down. Get it from the legs and just go and separate them. Turn the wheels down like this. And then spin his feet around. And what's really cool about this, about his feet, is you bring them forward and they, and they lock into place here. And then just bring up the heel spurs. If I can get, there we go. Do the same thing with the other side. If we can get it, there we go. Heel spur. And his foot. So there he is. Leg is complete. Go ahead and bring this back up. Let's go ahead and lift this piece up. His upper torso. Just snap that in. And come around here. To the back. Lift up these panels here. And then just lift, bring his wheels to the back. And position those any way you want to. And then just come around up here. Split this piece down the middle. Right here. Bring these arms on down, pull those panels to the back, bring out his fists, and there you have Soundwave in robot mode. Let's get him with his iconic shoulder mount that he usually has. I know some people have been complaining that he does not come with any cassettes or anything like that. Which it is a shame, yes, but I like him just the way he is as well. I mean, he's really, really cool. Put him put his gun right there. And it's really nice to have another, kind of like a G1 representation of Soundwave. And it is really, really cool looking. Stuff. All right. Now, mine for some odd reason is just kind of just laying down like that, but oh well, it's, it's all right. And for a good size comparison, here he is next to Megatron. Right 
right there so it's nice to have those two together and just to show them all off got Optimus here and Bumblebee I can get him to stand up so it's it's really cool to have the four together back this up a bit here I just lift them up so yeah it's really nice to have them together um, the War for Cybertron figures, got Megatron, Bumblebee, Soundwave, and Optimus. It's really nice to have them, have them together, um, like I said. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting to see who they come out with next in the next line for the War for Cybertron figures. Um, I'm hoping we might have some, like, Sideswipe or Ironhide for the Autobots and Starscream and maybe um, I don't know Starscream and uh, Brawl or maybe Breakdown or Barricade but who knows we'll see what they come up with next so this is Thanos here with the War for Cybertron Soundwave saying thanks for watching and um, I forgot to say this in the last video of Megatron, but uh, these guys are both a nice addition to the shrines. Um, it's slowly growing. Put Soundwave up in, actually I'll leave Soundwave there since he's the star right now. Um, but I will do an update later on and show you guys the collection. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.